Hey guys, welcome to part two of the behind the scenes making of Blood Money, the Western short. If you haven't seen part one, I definitely recommend you go check it out. That covers all the pre-production stuff from writing to auditioning, casting, doing storyboards, months of rehearsals. It's a perfect lead in to this part of the documentary. This part, part two, covers the actual physical production, the principal photography. We're out on location in the elements. Some days it's hot, some days it's cold. Other days I had to wait several months before I could return to the location because the mountain passes were covered in snow and there was just no safe way to get across them. So I just wanted to give a little bit back in the form of this documentary showing the good times, the difficult times, some of the challenges we faced, and the ultimate path that we took to get to the successful end product. I really hope you enjoy this film and I just want to give a huge shout out to the cast and crew again. They really put themselves through the ringer for this film and they took a chance on a first time director who essentially had nothing but his word that this was all going to be worthwhile. Without further ado, here is part two. Your doom is at hand. Blood money. Here we are in Ben. Got the whole cast and crew out here. We're just making our way to the location right now. It's about 11.45 in the morning. This is a long drive, a long morning drive. But we're going out to the location right now and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to uh, shoot a film in the next few hours. Yeah, we're fighting that sun today. We're fighting that beautiful sun up there. It's giving us a bunch of free light. Will with the bulk of the actors behind us. Well, we are here at the location, and apparently there are tons and tons of people. Mm 
just this whole place is packed with people. But we're gonna make this work. So, yep. Hi, J Boy. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Father? Uh, holy, of course. <laughs> How else are you going to feel on a Saturday? <laughs> I mean, this location, right? Oh, man, it's gone. Look at this. Right? Yeah, no one's getting paid, but hey. <laughs> what kind of a director would I be if I was not suffering along with my unpaid actors? Yeah. What kind of helpers would we be if we didn't put a little shade over you while you're shooting? That's true. <laughs> if I'm standing here and suddenly shade appears above me, I won't get mad. <laughs> I was gonna say, you got a lot of cable there. Well, the idea is that I would be able to step away and let you man, man the camera. Sorry, dude. Let's do it again. I don't know why I can't do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'd be a luckier man if you'd had the place of mine to read with. Okay. Alright, we're okay. just gonna go on to a different shot. Alright. Wasn't supposed to be another day, but there is now. Yay, day two! <laughs> Yay. Here we are on our way to Ben. Day two. Another 
Eugene, something that we're not used to. Oh, I said another. Probably a pun, pun there. Pulp fiction? Wow. That's a heavy movie to see your first time around. seem to know a whole lot. The money. You know the thousand dollars you won from Joseph back in Idaho. A man of God now. I've given up all my mortal temptations. All right. Then what harm would it be in telling them how to get that money? Can't tell them how to get that money. They'd never find it without me. The Lord won't let me go down that path. Not no more. I would not suffer. Uh, well, now, you can tell Cass here. He's got a bear trap for a head. You gonna talk the boy analogies? Okay. <laughs> Find us on the dark web. Yeah, it looks like a Awesome. That's freaking cool. Super fun. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want enchiladas. <laughs> Creamy enchiladas. I want an enchilada. Where's Will? Will disappeared. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Better than I am right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> you have to pull it out again. <laughs> <laughs> here, do it.
This partner didn't have no facial hair, so we had to put some fake facial hair on top of that facial hair. Okay, now don't move, Nick. Get the rope out of it. Oh, Now I want you to roll onto your left side. So let's go to left hand side. Yeah, I want you to roll over onto that side. Roll on that side. Hold on, hold on. Nope, hold on. So put your, put your hand back up to the side here. Roll on the camera. Oregon Governor Kate Brown says she is not ready to order the state to shelter in place for now, but it could happen. She says her staff is putting together a list of businesses that are considered critically important that would stay open if she moves forward for now. She's reminding the elderly and anyone with compromised immunity to keep their distance. Here we are, day four of Blood Money. Several months have passed. It is now March. <coughs> ah, what's the day? It is now March 17th, 2020. Last time we filmed for Blood Money was November. 
and we had to wait for the season to pass. We had to wait for the snow to clear off the mountain pass so we can get back out to Bend. March 18th. March 18th. March 18th. And now, here we are, driving back out to Bend to basically film like five shots, maybe an hour. It's a very, very scaled back crew. Only two cast members. I might even have to lay in there as a dead body. Hey. 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 <laughs> but, as you'll see, we got a drastic difference today because this time we brought the backup crew. Say hi, Joey. No. <laughs> Say hi, Maxie. <laughs> I never been wanting to wake up this early, and by early I mean 9.30 a.m. We're going back out to Ben. We're gonna film, we're gonna hopefully finish these last couple of pickups. And there might be one or two more pickups to get, but we can get those in town. We don't need the landscape for those, so... Yeah, here we go. Three hour journey. Again, part four. Part five. Part five. J-Boys, so I had to dress up in J-Boys outfit and lay there as the dead body for a couple of shots. Uh, that was interesting. We also couldn't get any sound people to come help. Uh, we couldn't get a gaffer to come out and help. Um, we couldn't get a production assistant to come out and help. So it was a very small crew. It was uh, four of us in total, not including the Ninos back there, who were having a bunch of fun, making a bunch of noise, and at one point when I was the dead body, I was also directing. So I was giving the action and the cut cue. And I was also holding the microphone off camera up in the air. So that was kind of funny. But yeah, look out for blood money on the horizon. We're gonna cut this sucker together. together, And uh, we'll try to make it good for you guys. Thanks for all the support over the last few months, and we can't wait to get it out to you. Peace!
Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching that. If you're able to stick with it this whole time, I really appreciate it. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was insightful. And right now, I am in the pre-production phase of my next film project, a horror short, a ghost story about depression and isolation. And I'm so excited to get to work on that and to share that with you and hopefully have some really cool behind-the-scenes footage of that production as well that I will then cut together at a future date. But for now... I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And remember to stay safe, stay creative. And I love you guys.